What's going on, everybody? I'm your boy Void Zoom. Welcome back to a brand new video. I know you might notice the upgrades. The upgrades are coming in. It's all because of you guys. The memberships, the the super chats, the watching the videos, liking them, the ad revenue and everything led me to be able to get a new lens for this camera so I can finally be using some higher quality video again. So thank you so much for all the support. You guys are freaking amazing. Today, this is a pretty simple video. I really just wanted to go over kind of explaining the Facebook gaming dashboard to anyone who's looking to stream because they've changed it over the past like year or so and it is kind of confusing now. So I want to explain it a little bit so it's easier for you guys to not understand. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you my personal dashboard and kind of walking through and breaking it down every piece of content inside there so you can understand fully and know what you're doing when you're getting set up to go live on Facebook gaming. Before we start though, like the video or if I help you out, make sure to hit that like button. I mean, demolish it. And of course, I'm now streaming over on Facebook. So if you wanna go show me some love over there, link will be in the description. It's gonna be fb.gg slash voidsu. All right, everybody. So now we're looking at the live producer page. So how you get here is in my last video, but basically you just go to your page, Hit the creator studio, go to live dashboard, hit up, you know, set up your live broadcast. So now we're going to walk through this just real quickly. It's nothing too crazy. So I'm going to kind of walk you through the top left and then kind of go down each piece. So up here, you can see it says go live now. That's the tab we're on. Um, if you want to go live with others, you can do that. I've never done it. Uh, same thing with scheduling live video events or upcoming live videos and events. You can schedule them out like you can scheduling YouTube videos. Um, however, I find that just going in here and starting the go live now is usually the easiest way to set it up. So we'll go through that. Right here, you can see post to a page you manage um, or you can post on your timeline or post it in a group. Make sure you set this to post to a page you manage and click the page that you manage, which mine's void too. Here, we're going to be putting down the title of the stream. So if you wanted, you know, you wanted it to say um, number one best player in the world, you could write it here. That would be your title. The title doesn't show up on all platforms. So for example, on some news feeds, it'll, it won't show a title. Um, it'll only show the description and only these top two lines. So make sure that this little section here, the description has a very catchy, engaging verbiage to it, as well as the title title still important. However, the description is, you know, somewhat more important. Fill out your description. This so far has been saving for me every time I finish my stream. However, if you want a quick tip to be able to have this copy and pasteable, just open the sticky notes app and uh, or notepad or anything and just set it up how you want it to look and then paste it in here whenever you go live. Which reminds me, we're almost to 50 followers. If you guys want to go drop a follow, links in the description. We're almost there. Help me out. Um, <clears throat> scrolling down a little bit, we get to the gaming section. So here's where you tag your game. So you can type in like Warzone. Um, and then there's Call of Duty Warzone right there. Here's where you choose your thumbnail. If you wanted your thumbnail to be probably what my one for the next stream will be, something like that, you can set that up. Um, I have noticed that these thumbnails, like the candid thumbnails, do the best. So there's a free tip for you. You can cross post to multiple pages. So you can have this post to different pages you run, as well as the change your audience settings. So this is how you can change it between public. 15 plus, 18 plus, 21 and 25. You can allow selected locations. So only specific areas will be able to see the content and as well as restricting selected locations. Down at the bottom, this is a big one. You can publish as test broadcast. So I actually test this out. So you can click this and it'll publish as a test broadcast so nobody can see it but you and your moderators or admins. And that way you can have your feed essentially playing privately and you can test out things to see the sizing of the font. And so now we're going to get in here, get started. We're going to have use stream key so you can use the OBS software that we went through in my last video. These are tips. You can always look at these if you want reminders of what you should check out. I always close them. Use a persistent stream key is so the stream key never changes. Um, mine will be blurred out, but it probably will end up being reset after this video anyway, because I think I had an issue with it. Use a backup stream. I've never actually used this, but I guess it's like a backup stream added to your live video. It cannot be removed. It will not affect your stream if you choose not to use it. I've never used it. Your settings for your stream. You can have end live video if the stream stops. So if the stream stops, the stream stops. Embed the live video. So insert your live video on any website outside of Facebook. This one's pretty cool. So you can have it if you have a website, for example, with a lot of traffic, you could have your live video embedded into the website. So on the landing page, 
anyone who goes to that website, if you have a lot of traffic, will be seeing your video and it'll count as a viewer. You can broadcast this as a spherical video, so a 360 or 180 video, if you've seen anything like that before. Um, it's only used for specific kind of cameras can do it. And then unpublish the live video after it ends. So basically, um, after the video is done, it won't be visible on your channel. It'll just go to a hidden section and then it'll almost look like you never even went live, but it will be live while you're live. So everyone can see it. The second you end it, they can't watch it anymore. Go to your viewers or viewing section, allow viewers to rewind. That way you can kind of scroll back and forth in the timeline to see what they missed. Turn on auto generated captions. This will automatically generate um, captions based on your language so people can understand what you're saying. Kind of like, you know, watching a Netflix or something and allow viewers to message you. I definitely have this off. I don't want, you know, random people sending me messages or anything like that. So you have something to say, just say it in the chat. And then comments. This is where you would turn on follower only mode, slow mode, so only every 10 seconds, discussion, so only comments over 100 characters will be shown, restricted, only commenters have accounts that have been two weeks old, and then protected commenters must have followed you for at least 15 minutes, so that looks like it's kind of the uh, same thing as follower, but a little bit more restricted. Here you have the live stream setup. So your server URL, you can pretty much ignore this because OBS has a direct Facebook um, button now. Um, and then your stream key, of course, is what you send into your um, encoder OBS to be able to look it over, send your stream out. This is show ta live tab on page. So this will show a tab on your Facebook page that says live with a little red dot next to it when you're live. And that will show that your video is live there as well as the front page. Um, and then this video URL will become clickable after the live is started. But this is how you can share it out socials. Discord, things like that. You need to send the link to a friend to watch your stream. That's how you would do that. So next we're gonna go over the gaming tab. The majority, as you can see, of things here, I don't actually use. And if you were wondering how you can kind of customize this, you just drag these around and then drag like these down, save the layout. And now you have a whole different layout. But the only ones I use are my goals to see where my followers are at. Looks like 48 out of 50. The show follow button is really cool. So. You can only do it two times for 30 seconds each um, uh, each time, I guess. I think it's every time you're live, but you can click um, show and it'll pop this up on the screen. And it's a really easy way for people to follow you without having to think too much about it. It's, it's actually a really cool function. Here's where you can quickly edit your title and your game of what you're doing. You can create a poll. You've probably seen a lot of these where they're like, have you reacted to the stream yet? Yes, or I'm about to kind of things. You can also, of course, handle that from the polls section here as well. So next we're going to look at you have your alerts here. So with this little three dots, we'll show you everything you have turned on, which includes charity donations, clips, shares, stars, stream chains, supporters and gifted subs. Unfortunately, it does not include likes, which is something that I wish they would have because I would love to see how many likes are popping in right here. And last is your comment section. You can turn on follower mode, slow, discussion, restricted or protected like we talked about earlier. But these are all changeable and changeable, stretchable. You want to make one smaller. Uh, they only go to a certain width and they'll stop for a second. As you can see, they like click. And that's about as wide as it'll go. Next tab is going to be our stream health. This is where you can find your metrics, including resolution, how long you can stream for, the video resolution you're streaming at, the audio format, yada, 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 technical stuff. Graphics is a new feature. So what you can do is say, pick up a graphics package and we want to go with station. It would put this lower thirds here and that would allow you to be able to have like a newscaster kind of situation or, um, you know, many different kinds of things that you can play around with. I have yet to use these. Um, but you totally could set this up, change the lettering and stuff, and then put it on your stream if you'd like. It's kind of like built in graphics. Um, but if you would rather uh, do something a little bit more complex, which I recommend using something like stream elements to manage that. Polls, as we discussed earlier, same thing, create a poll. Questions is new. I like to do questions where you add it and add a random question, something that pertains to the game. You're playing Fortnite, you could say, what's your favorite skin or what skin do you wear? Um, or, you know, Warzone, what's your favorite loadout, things like that, just to kind of have people engaging with chat. I don't really know how much it works, but I can tell you that it's a cool feature they added. And the last thing is feature link. So what you can do is show a link during your live video to let viewers know about your website or to raise money through a third party platform. You could do this through charity. 
Um, looks like you a short description. You could put like a Discord link here, for example. Um, you know, the possibilities are endless. Um, and then help is basically what I'm doing now. <laughs> so that would give you any tips on anything you need to know otherwise. But other than that, if you have any other questions or anything that I missed to go over, please let me know down in the description. Or you can swing over to my Facebook gaming live stream, fb.gg slash voidzu, and ask me any questions you have there. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and hope this helped you out. Have a good one. Peace.